Hey, what's up? It's the Empire, Geo Boxing Empire, back some more boxing. So, there's been talks about Triple G rematching Daniel Jacobs after that close fight. It was a great fight for both fighters. Um, Daniel Jacobs proved that the 6 to 1 underdog was a joke, and he performed way better than people thought. I thought the fight was close. Uh, I thought Daniel Jacobs won the fight. But then again, um, in my opinion, destroying every top fighter is unrealistic. And there will be some close fights. So that being said, I mean, I think a rematch deserves to happen regardless of who you think won the fight. I think it'd be great. Triple G looked good. Daniel Jacobs looked incredible. They both looked pretty good. Um, but they, Triple G is rumored to be fighting uh, Daniel Jacobs rematch or Billy Joe Sanders for the unification for all the belts, period. Um, in my opinion, the Billy Joe Sanders fight will most likely happen. But Triple G is looking very, uh, he's looking very vulnerable in his recent fights. I mean, he, now he's been stepping up and fighting the best because he has all the belts and he has mandatories and obligations to fight the number one people. He, he's been having problems. And uh, we all know Jamal Charlo just went up to a 160 and he's the number two ranked in the WBC. So that fight will most likely happen within a year or two. And the way that Daniel Jacobs fight looked, Triple G is going to have a big problem with Charlo because he has some major power. In Charlo's most recent fight against J-Rock, Charlo dropped J-Rock with a jab and damn near knocked him out with just a jab. I mean, J-Rock stood up, wobbled off that jab. And if you actually uh, watch um, Jamal Charlo versus K-9 Bundridge, he's the guy who knocked out Molina when, after coming out of jail or something like that. Charlo dropped him with a jab as well, <laughs> and he looked like he was about knocked out as well. So Charlo has power. I'm pretty sure he'll carry up to heavy, uh, to middleweight because, like I said, he's hurting people with just a jab. And, you know, we know how Jamal finished J-Rock by devastating uppercut. You know, it was, it was pretty it was pretty shocking. So, I mean, is I mean, I know Triple G stock definitely fell after this fight, the Daniel Jacobs fight. I mean, he's not looking like invincible anymore. He's looking really human and beatable. So, I mean, Triple G's uh, stock is falling. And I know if Jamal Charlo fights Triple G, it won't be a 6-1 to one underdog. I can tell you that right now. It will be really close. It may be 2-1 to one max. So, I mean, if, if people think J-Rock, I mean, uh, Charlo has a chance to win this fight, and he's actually a big name, I think he'll actually perform a lot better than Daniel Jacobs did because, in my opinion, Daniel Jacobs has power. But he doesn't hit too cleanly. He's sort of just wild with his power. But but J Rock, he knows what he's doing. He's pre he's precise with his power punches. So I think uh, you know J. I mean uh, Charlo is the future middleweight in my opinion, man. He he's he has all the tools. Um, I, I haven't even seen him wobble in the fight. Tell you, I haven't even seen him, see him hit at all. Tell you the truth, I mean he has a pretty good chin. So, I mean, we'll see how it carries up the middleweight. There's definitely threats. All the top middleweights have power, you know. Peter Quillen, Daniel Jacobs, David Lemieux, Kerr Stevens, you know, he got put to sleep. All the top fighters have power, even Eubank. You know, even Saunders has some power. He dropped Andy Lee three times. So, let me know how you guys feel, man. I think now that the decline of uh, Triple G's stock went down, in my opinion, you know, J uh, J uh, Charlo has a good chance taking over the division in my opinion i mean there's only up because he's young too he's youngest of all those people too so he definitely has an age advantage let me know how you guys feel like comment subscribe this is the empire geo boxing empire i'm out